a step up in the world. Mending Mistakes If you place something in the wrong place, you can remove it with the dynamite tool. The rail, signal, road, and station tools can be used with the remove function hotkey R in order to remove specific tiles only. Networking Point-to-point -point rail networks are a poor use of your assets and capital, aside from transfers, which I will cover later. Networks combine all of your rail so that every train can reach every station that you build. Signals and Stations Signals are the building blocks of a network. They allow multiple trains to operate on a set of rails. Use the Signal tool, hotkey S, to place a signal. If you hold control while placing a signal, you get a semaphore. Clicking on it with the signal tool will make it switch sides of the track. Using the signal tool and control clicking on the signal will make it change signal type. The first signal you will get is the entry signal. The second is the exit signal. The third is the combo signal. The fourth is the path signal. The fifth is the one-way path signal. Here is the basic use of signals allowing two trains to run on the same track. Making an upstream and a downstream one-way track allows for a street-like function. In order to quickly signal your line, you can drag the signal tool. Start on a pre-existing signal and hold left click and drag. Holding control while doing this will cause it to auto-signal the entire line until it reaches a break in the line. This rail system is known as 1x1. One one. Two downstream and two upstream would be known as 2x2 two two and so on. There are two types of stations. Roro stations. Roll in, roll out stations or Roro stations allow trains to enter a station from one side and exit from the other. Terminus stations. Terminus stations allow trains to enter and exit from the same side. Each platform a station possesses will allow it to hold an additional train. Pre signals are needed before stations for trains to enter correctly. Entry and exit signals can accomplish this well. The entry signal will remain green, allowing a train to pass, as long as there are green exit signals beyond it. This allows each station platform to load a train while restricting access to the station when it is full. The combo signal can be used to increase the efficiency of this process. The path signal can also be used in place of the exit and entry signals. Junctions. A network is all tied together with a backbone or mainline. This is the simplest junction, allowing a train to switch to another track. Junctions allow you to add on more stations to the network without building a new line entirely. Interfering junctions cross over the mainline and can cause delays. Pass signals are recommended when using these types of junctions. Non-interfering junctions are more effective because they do not disturb mainline traffic as it passes. Tunnels or bridges can be used to make junctions non-interfering. Tunnels are recommended because they do not have speed limits. This is the most effective junction for a 1x1 one -one rail network which allows trains to choose from two directions from each rail. Here is how to build it.
This is a junction I created to handle lots of traffic on a 2x2 rail network. Here is how to build it. To make things easier, you will want to turn on measurements on your rail tools. Go to Advanced Settings, Display Options, Show a Measurement Tooltip when using various build tools. Start out by finding a large area and leveling it. Make two pairs of two rails that have eight tile spaces between them. Make these rails intersect. Then make one set go underneath the other with tunnels. Make triangles at each corner. Make sure to leave a 2x2 two two tile box inside the triangle. Continue by lowering the middle section. Make two hills for tunnels on the inside and connect them up to the main line. Continue construction as you see here. Transfers. You can use transfers to increase the amount of raw materials that are at one central loading station or hub. You can hold control while building a station to get options on station building. Transfer drop-off stations must be a part of the station you want to increase the amount of raw materials at. Transfers are often simple point-to-point -point lines that are completely separate from the rest of your network. While routing the train, use the transfer and leave empty order on the drop-off station so it will behave properly. Converting rail. You can use the convert rail tool to convert rail into other rail types, which grants access to better trains. While converting a whole network, it is a good idea to send all of your trains to a depot so that all of the rail will be converted. Selecting the whole map can be made easier by opening another viewport. Note that when converting from rail to monorail or maglev, you must rebuild all of your trains. <laughs> 